We are in a new era of the digital age with so many events and experiences having moved online. And the Western Reserve Historical Society is no different. John Rutter is live for us this morning. John, despite being socially distant, history is still at your fingertips. Yeah, good morning, Homo. Like everything else in 2020, the Western Reserve Historical Society is going virtual. So despite closing its doors due to the COVID-19 pandemic, you're still able to explore and experience Cleveland history right from the comfort of your own home. Check it out. They've got several online virtual exhibits, five of them uh, from those who give black, which tells the history of African-American charities and philanthropy in Cleveland to women in politics, which tells the story of women's empowerment in the fight for their right to vote. Now, the goal here is to use the unique history of Cleveland to give people a sense of place and purpose in their day to day lives. I mean, it really is the most quintessential melting pot from infrastructure to entrepreneurship to immigration and cultural diversity. And I think anytime we send out any kind of content, whether it be in person or online, the biggest takeaway what we want people to have is that Everyone has had a story here and will continue to have a story and a voice in Cleveland. Now, some of these exhibits are free. Others you do have to pay for, but it doesn't expire. You will get a link that has stories, uh, videos, interviews, all kinds of content that you can really sift and watch through at your own pace. They've also got a then and now vlog in Homa. You know how much I love the vlogs. Just another piece of interesting content that you can find there at the Historical Society. You love vlogs. That is a great thing to do um, all together as a family, John. We love that. Thank you.